Get out of there. Just looking around for inspiration for paintings. We've got some really nice prime platypus habitat here. I've got my stuffed platypus here to have a good look at this animal. And although it's an interesting, weird looking creature, it's a monotreme, it lays eggs, it's a mammal, but it doesn't have nipples. Milk just comes out of there, the young drink up or lap up the milk, the young are called puggles. Uh, it's got a bill like a duck, but the holes are at the end there like a crocodile, the eyes are at the top of the head. All in all an incredible mammal. But what really blows my mind, and I really find it even hard to comprehend this, is that this animal was pretty much in the same shape as it is now, 300 million years ago. This is a very ancient type of mammal which still walks around with us today, and yet there was times when it had to dodge the dinosaurs. I'm very inspired to draw and paint dinosaurs lately. I want to do a series of dinosaur paintings, but I can't actually go out and sketch dinosaurs. So this is quite exciting to see an animal which was around with dinosaurs. I could put up some very interesting dinosaur pictures, like how would this animal interact with dinosaurs? It's got eyes to the top of the head, nose there, can put its head above water. Very good vision around. Seeing a dinosaur could get out of the way. Also, what would happen with these venom spurs here? It's a venomous mammal. It, it creates intense pain. Now, for a dinosaur, is that like a bee sting? I don't know, but it could make a very amusing painting. So, with what I can see around me, I'm going to make up the rest from looking at bones of dinosaurs. I'm going to do a series of very interesting paintings.